the countdown to our next one begins now. This is where the true Disney magic still exists. <laughs> from the Disney Fantasy. It is our last full day here on the ship, but it is an exciting one because we are docked this morning in Castaway Key, Disney's Yay! private island. I'm so excited. Disney's private island is beautiful. Everything is right there. You get, you don't have to get up back on the ship to nope. eat lunch. They have barbecue for you. They have different beaches, snorkeling, so many different things to do. That's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna go grab a quick breakfast upstairs at Cabanas, and then we're gonna grab our stuff in the room, and we're gonna head on to Castaway Key. And there it is, Disney's Castaway Key. An absolutely beautiful island. It looks like it's gonna be a great day. You can see a lot of families already heading ashore which is nice it's gonna be an awesome awesome day we don't have anything like specific planned for castaway we're just gonna relax enjoy adults only beaches maybe we'll do some bike riding well, let's go grab some breakfast how about this view for breakfast we just finished up at cabanas we're gonna head up to the room grab a couple of things and then make our way off of the ship and onto castaway and we are off the ship and on castaway key there's the fantasy we're gonna make our way to the trams and we'll see where we're gonna go first. Probably Serenity Bay. There's Donald Duck meeting and greeting outside of the post office. It's a lot of great photo ops, especially when you first get off the ship. I know I said it every time we got off the ship, but look at the fantasy. <laughs> it's so cool to see it. There's Dumbo right there on the front painting the painting the ship. So over here at Cargo Handling, this is where you get the trams, the Scuttles Cove, which is the kids area, and then the Castaway Beaches, both the family beach and the adults beach. So we are off at Pelican Point now, passing by by the seashore, which is one of the merchandise shops. And a lot of the Castaway merchandise is exclusive. I think all of it is. So we're gonna go see what they have. They have um, Castaway Key Spear jerseys. Uh, let's see, it doesn't have a price on Mystery it. Mystery price. But look, that's nice. That's really nice. And then they have the same one in orange up here. And there's the back of the orange one. That's really nice. I know. <laughs> have all little types of magnets over here, little bags. Ooh, they even have disposable waterproof cameras. We have some more Castaway Key bags. There's a tumbler over here. That's actually really nice. Then they had this baseball cap with Mickey snorkeling. It's all different t-shirts over here. The t-shirts look better than this time than they did last time we were here. It looks like they got better. They even have a shirt for Cookies Barbecue. <laughs> Look at that. They have some Disney Cruise Line and Castaway Key keychains over here. Some lanyards. This is just like the cup that I got, the Disney Cruise Line cup, but a Castaway Key version. That's nice. $27. And if you forget your sunglasses, they have them here. There's a lot of cute shirts for the kids too. They have a Mr. Ray's Stingray Adventure shirt. So if you did that excursion, they have that shirt for the kids. There's this one with flounder. There's Minnie Mouse snorkeling. There's some more kid shirts over here. They even sell like little buckets and shovels so the kids can play while they're on the beach. Over here is Summertime Freeze and this is where you can get all different types of drinks and slushies. And they have some cute sipper cups over here too. There's Sven. And then there's Olaf. Also over here is Flippers Floats. This is where you can walk up, rent, like floats, snorkel equipment. How good does it feel to be back on Castaway? I love this island. <laughs> this is like one of our favorite islands. It's absolutely beautiful. And there's Disney touches everywhere, it's perfect. So when you're on Castaway, you don't have to go back on the ship to eat lunch. They do an island barbecue, and they do it at Cookies and Cookies 2, from 11.30 to 2 p.m. And this is Cookies 2 right here, which is right over by the family beach. So in a few hours, we'll have some barbecue lunch. So here's a map of Castaway Key. It'll tell you where everything you need to know is. Marge's Barges is where a lot of the characters are. They also have like the Pelican Plunge slide over here, some of the rentals. And then there's Serenity Bay, which I think is where we are gonna be heading next. Shows you all the different food and beverage spots and this and that, merchandise. It's a big island and there's a lot to see. So let's get moving and we're gonna head to Serenity Bay. And we are off to Serenity Bay. So we made it, we're at Serenity Bay. 
Feels so good. About to head in now. This is an adults only beach for 18 and up. Look how beautiful this is. Serenity Bay is amazing. The water is so blue. Look at the sand. I'm gonna go find chairs and then we're just gonna relax. All right, we are gonna head into the water. It's so pretty here. Beautiful. <laughs> it's crystal clear, like you can just see. And it's it goes shallow, like way out. So you can go like walk all the way out there. Yeah, there's people, people all the way out there and it's still like waist deep or, or shoulder deep. Look at this water. You can see straight down to my feet. It's so beautiful. Wow, look how far out we are right now and you can still stand. Like the water is still just about waist deep for me. You were saying it's gonna be so hard to go back home <laughs> after today. Like today's our final day. It's a great way to wrap it up, but we have to go back to home. We have to go back to work in a couple of days. Oh, this is the life. I could get used to this island life. <laughs> Same with me. <laughs> At least though we live in Florida now. We're not yes. going back to cold weather. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> We came back to Pelican Point because they're doing a character dance party. And you know we're two big kids and we have to go check that out. So the dance party was over by Cookies, so we're just walking around. Hello. There's smoothies and frozen drinks over here. And then this is Cookies Barbecue. So this is Cookies, Cookies 2 we showed you earlier. And then there's the adult one on Serenity Bay. Passing by the family beach over here. We're gonna come here in a little bit and hang out because the slides are over in this direction. And it's a really nice beach, even though there's kids and there's a lot of families, not as quiet as Serenity Bay, but it is still beautiful. So we're back over by she sells she shells. Nope. I messed that up? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? She sells seashells. And everything else. <laughs> and there's more castaway merchandise over here. Look at these. These are nice. Little button ups. They have ones for the kids. They have a dress. They have some more shirts. They have this castaway key Disney Cruise Line shirt. And nothing's better than doing nothing. I agree with that. There's some more shirts and hats shorts things like that a lot of this stuff is the same that was in the other store they have these shirts as well this one's pretty cool it's like a tie-dye shirt it says castaway key on there and then this one i like a lot it's a black shirt and it says castaway key disney cruise line with the palm trees and the disney cruise line logo right there i like that one a lot so we came back to serenity bay and it's time for lunch we're in line at serenity bay barbecue which is the adults only barbecue dining spot here on the island. So let's see what they have here. Looks like we have some potato salad, sweet corn salad, some coleslaw, there's some pasta salad over here, some ribeye steaks, corn on the cob, some chili, and then over here are the burgers and the chicken. Then there's a whole bunch of different fresh fruits, pineapples, watermelons, papaya, and then all of your toppings. And then for desserts, there's pineapple upside down cakes, chocolate chip cookies, and brownies. And then of course, ice cream. So here is what we got for lunch. I got a cheeseburger, corn on the cob, some pasta salad, rotisserie chicken, some pineapple and mango, and some pickles for my burger. Alex got some ribs, a hot dog, pasta salad, and some fruit as well. What are you gonna do, banana? Banana and a little bit of vanilla. Make a nice little swirl. They also have mango ice cream. That's pretty cool. I wonder how that is. Yeah. The lunch was really good. It was just like all your typical barbecue stuff. They had burgers, chicken, ribs, hot dogs, steak, um, and then all different like coleslaw, potato salad, pasta salad. Um, they had fresh fruit, which I really liked because they actually have like mango and papaya here, which I don't think they had on the ship. Very fresh, delicious. Um, and then of course we had to get a little dessert. We got some ice cream yep. and the famous cookies. <clears throat> and I tried some of the mango. It's very, very good. And then yeah, we got a chocolate chip cookie too. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time over here on Serenity Bay. Then we're gonna head back to the family beaches. We're gonna do some snorkeling. We're gonna do the water slides. Still a lot to do. And we still have, what, maybe three hours left? 
roughly? Mm -hmm. I don't know what time it is. We're, we're on island time. I'm gonna guess it's about 1.45. So I think we're gonna hang out here for a little bit. I was pretty close on the time. It's 1.35 right now, so I was only off by 10 minutes. So I think we're gonna hang here. And then in maybe a half hour or so, we'll head back to the other beach. So we did a quick beach change. We're over now by the family beach. And straight ahead is Pelican Plunge, which is a water slide that drops right into the ocean. So here is Pelican Plunge. This should be good. Alex said we did this the last time, but I do not remember doing this. This slide is a swim up slide. And if you have little ones, they'll have to wear a life vest but we are treading in the water right now, heading over to the slide. And as usual, Alex is back there, taking forever to get in. We made it. Watch out for the splash pad. I have these little cannons over here. To try and shoot the pelican. Here we go. Woohoo! All right, here we go. <laughs> That was fun. I think we're gonna go back. I wanna do the closed one, and then Alex will give you a POV on the other one. Woo! Here we go! The dark one, the, the enclosed one, you go, you go flying. It's so fast. The lady before you came shooting out. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like launched myself. It hurts your back a little bit because you can feel like all the creases of the slide. Oh yeah. It's fun. It was really fast. And just like that, we are about to get back on the cruise ship. <laughs> it was a don't fun make, day. Don't make me leave. <laughs> I wish we could stay here. So we just got back into the room. We had an amazing day on Castaway Key and our luggage tags were left for us by our stateroom host. We are group Pluto, so when we get off the ship, it says look for your bag in the tan Pluto zone. We have to make sure that our bags are outside of the room by 10.30 p.m., and then they take them right off the ship for you. If you don't have your bags outside by 10.30 p.m., then you will have to carry your own bags off of the ship. So you can choose what you want. If you want your bags to stay with you the whole time, don't put anything out, but if you wanna have the Disney Cruise Line staff take them directly into the port for you, Make sure your bags are outside by 10.30. And tomorrow morning as we disembark, we'll go over the entire disembarkation process so you can see what that is like. You have an assigned breakfast in one of the restaurants. You have an assigned time that you are getting off of the ship. It's very, very organized. We'll show you guys what that looks like tomorrow. But for now, we'll enjoy these last minute views of Castaway Key. As you can see, a number of guests are getting on the ship. It's just about time. It's just about 4.45. It's actually a little past 4.45. So you have people getting on the aft side over here. You have people getting on in the midship. But what a great day. A beautiful, beautiful island. It's always a highlight of a Disney cruise. Now look at the cast members on Castaway Key waving goodbye. <laughs> they all have the Mickey hands on. So our final dinner tonight is back in Royal Court, which is where we ate, I think, twice already on this cruise. But before we head inside for dinner, Goofy's out, and we haven't seen him yet in his 25th anniversary outfit. Hey, Goof. How are you? We had to come see you one last time because we did not see you in your new outfit yet. Don't they look snazzy? You look I, amazing. I wore my shirt to match you. Ah, yeah, Whoa, look at that. Really you guys match. <laughs> so tonight we are back in Royal Court. Here's a look at the menu. It is seafood night, so you'll notice a lot of the main courses are seafood based. There's lobster tail, red snapper, and that's about it. But the lobster tail is the main draw for tonight. Our server's been talking about that for days now. We have some vegetarian options as usual, lighter note offerings. I think Alex might go for the lobster tail, and I don't eat seafood, so I think I'm going to be going for the fettuccine with the parmesan crusted chicken. Are you going to go for the lobster? I think so. I don't have lobster very often, to be honest, but I think I'm going to try it. Um, I've obviously I've had lobster before, but I've never had it on a Disney cruise, so I'm going to try it today. For our appetizers tonight, I got the marinated tiger shrimp, and Alex got the eggplant. And for our main entrees, I got the parmesan crusted chicken with Alfredo, and Alex got the highlight of the night on the menu here at Court. It is the lobster tail. So we just finished our main course, and the lobster was great. We didn't have a lobster night on the Dream when we went a few years ago, and I'm so glad that I got it tonight because it was delicious. I ate the whole thing, and Matt, not a seafood guy, 
He tried lobster and he ate the whole thing. So you know it's good. Our servers brought us out two lobsters. I ordered the chicken like I showed you, but they also brought me out a lobster to try. They didn't know that I didn't eat seafood, but I said, you know what, tonight's gonna be the night that I'm gonna try lobster for the first time. And I did, and it was incredible. I, I'm a lobster guy now. It took me almost 32 years to try lobster, but I really, really liked it. It was very, very soft and tender. It was so good. So anytime we come on a cruise in the future and there's a lobster night, I'm gonna be getting that. Now as our assistant server, Rafiq says, the best part of the meal. This is the old fashioned apple pie and Alex got the chocolate lava cake. This looks almost identical to the one that we had at Palo. Yeah, it does. I wonder if it's gonna be like the exact same cake. It might be. I'm gonna try it and I'll let you know. So we came back up to the room because we have to do a little bit of packing. Again, we have to put our suitcases out by 10.30 so that they take them right off of the ship for us. We did a lot of it before we went down for dinner, but there's still like a few last minute things that we need to do. Also wanted to show you that they left us the comment card, and this is really important for a number of reasons. This is how Disney gets your feedback, and Cruise Line actually takes customer feedback very seriously. So this card is definitely something everybody should be filling out when you're going on your cruise. There's also questions about your wait staff in here, and we were talking to our servers, Pamela and Rafik, and there's incentive programs. So they get like extra days off if they have like perfect scores and things like that. So it's really important that you fill these out so that the cast members and crew members that helped you out while you were on your cruise are able to reap the benefits of their incentive program. So we're gonna fill that out and we're gonna drop this off downstairs by guest services either later tonight or tomorrow morning. But first we have to pack and then we're gonna go down and check out Believe. And by the way, our dinner, our last dinner on the ship was very, very good. Again, I enjoyed the lobster. I enjoyed my lava cake. It wasn't as good as the one in Palo, but I still enjoyed it and ate the whole thing. <laughs> and then we will be able to eat breakfast tomorrow morning at seven o'clock in the same restaurant that we had dinner in tonight, which was Royal Court. We'll be able to say our last goodbyes to Pamela and Rafik. And yeah, I mean, it's coming to an end. We're very sad. This has been an amazing week and again, two thumbs up to Disney Cruise Line. Like, I just can't wait to come back. So we're packing up some of these bags here. We have two pieces of actual luggage and then a small carry-on that are gonna get brought out to us by the Disney Cruise Line staff. So we're just putting together that final bag and then I think the rest is just things that we're gonna carry out. Have the camera bag, have our beach bag over here, right? Yeah, and our merchandise bag. Um, can't forget that. There was, <laughs> all the stuff there that was we bought. <laughs> a lot of money spent in that bag. So we are all done. Room 8156 is packed up and ready to go. We have our luggages out here, and like I said, have them out by 1030. They'll take them right off the ship for you, and you pick them up in the port. You excited for the show tonight? Yes, but no. <laughs> it's the saddest part of the cruise. <laughs> it's a show that'll make you cry, it, too. Oh, I thought you were talking about the, the farewell. Yeah, the well, farewell. that, too. But yes, I'm excited for Believe. It's one of my favorites. The first time we watched it, I shed a few tears. So let's see if it makes me cry again tonight. But it is very, very good. Looking down onto deck three from up here on deck four. Daisy's out doing some meeting and greeting. Mickey Mouse is out. They're both in their Silver Anniversary at Sea costumes. And then up here on the balcony is Minnie. So all along the trim of deck four, and Deck 5, you can find Disney characters, and as we're waiting here to meet Minnie Mouse, we just noticed there's Goofy and Max. That is awesome. But all those different Disney characters are on those gold rectangles right there, and they go all around the front lobby of the ship, so it's a fun thing to do, is to come and see how many different characters you can find. Hi, Minnie! Uh, it's so good That's to beautiful. see you. We <laughs> love your new outfit for the anniversary. You look so good. <laughs> Wow. Oh, you guys made them all? They're very talented. Wow, so you made Mickey's and Goofy's and Pluto's collar. Well, it's good to see you. The next time we'll see you, you'll be the captain of the ship on the Wish. We're gonna go on the Wish and see you there. <laughs> <laughs> and we are making our way over to the show, but just wanted to call out, the last night is the last time you could buy merchandise. They're not allowed to sell merchandise while the ship is in port. So this is your last opportunity. You can't buy it the morning you leave. And the show tonight in the Walt Disney Theater is Disney's Believe. Okay, judging by your red eyes, 
You cried again watching this show. That's by far my favorite, I think. Yeah. Like, even compared to, like, the Golden Mickeys and all the shows that we've seen, that's my favorite. <laughs> it was I love really it. good. I love that it incorporates a bunch of the Disney characters in it and just, like, the story of the dad and the daughter. Yeah. It, it just gets you. I, I heard the women behind me, like, sobbing, too. Yeah, I don't think there was a dry eye in there. It was really, really good. <laughs> yeah, it's my favorite. And the characters that they have in that show aren't necessarily ones we get to see. Right. Like, Blue is in there from the Jungle Book. There's Rafiki. Peter so it was Pan. really good. Peter Pan Merlin from Sword in the Snow. Yeah, that was, was cool. very, very good. A great way to wrap up the night. All the entertainment that we saw over in the Walt Disney Theater over the course of the last week was top notch. And it's basically the same cast that does all the shows. Yeah. And they're all super, super talented. Very so talented. if you're coming on a cruise, don't skip any of the shows on any of your nights that they're taking place. Go see every single one because they're really good. Yeah, and make sure you definitely catch Believe. So we're going to head back towards the lobby atrium because in a little bit, they're doing the farewell show, which is called See You Real Soon, S-E-A, You Real Soon. And it's really sad. Like, it's it's fun and it's a great show, but it's so sad because the cruise is over. A very good evening and welcome back to the beautiful lobby atrium here in the heart of the Disney fantasy. I'm Sean, your assistant cruise director, and I want to know, did you have an amazing cruise?
That just means we'll have to do another one. I know, the countdown to our next one begins now. And with that, our final night has come to an end. Tomorrow morning, we get off the ship bright and early. It's, yeah. real, it's a sad night. <laughs> it's a very sad night. We had the most amazing week on the Disney Fantasy, and like I said before, I'm already counting down until the next time we can sail with Disney. Yep. It's just been absolutely amazing. Like we've said during this whole video, every single person that works on the ship and on Disney Cruise Line goes above and beyond. This is where the Disney magic still lies. Yeah, I, I know a lot of times we're harsh on the parks because we just keep it real, but Disney Cruise Line is where it is at. This is where the true Disney magic still exists. Still that Disney service, everything you would expect from like a Disney branded property, like a cruise line or a theme park, mm -hmm. it's here. This is where it's at. And we just spent the last half hour or so going around to all the different managers and just telling them how great everybody was, how great all of their you know teammates are and crew mates are. It was, it was an amazing experience. Yeah, I mean, every person that you walk past greets you, has a smile on their face. It's just amazing. And they do this back to back to back. Like, you really feel like you're the first yeah. people on the ship and this is like their first sailing because everybody's so excited and so friendly. But they do this months on end, yeah. back to back. Hey, and listen, the last guest, Sean, the assistant cruise director, was telling us the last guest will get off of the ship tomorrow around 10 a.m. The first guests on the next cruise will be getting on at 11.15. That's so wild. just like that they turn it around and it's it's really really crazy mm -hmm. so just to think about like how fast they turn the ship around and how you know a new fresh group of people are coming on mm -hmm. and these these crewmates and, and cast members just keep it fresh so with that we are gonna go to sleep and we're gonna wake up and we're gonna show you what the dis disembarkation process is like tomorrow morning we have breakfast bright and early and then we'll be getting off the ship bright and early as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today for our final night. If you did, make sure you give the video a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel down below so you don't miss out on all of our future videos to come. And with that being said, we'll see you guys real soon.